Hello and welcome. Today I will not look at a DLC or any kind of an official release. I will be continuing my small focus on the Flygvapnet and the Swedish Air Force. What you see here is the mod version of the J-32 Lansen. This version is an update from the Strike Fighters Project 1 beta version and is released for Strike Fighters 2. While this version is claimed to be the J-32B, that is the Night Fighter version, I find that it can actually subside for the A-32 versions as well, especially since it can carry the Robot 4. It is a very pleasant and forgiving plane to fly. It can be pushed to its limits, and it can hold its own in both a dogfight and as a strike package carrier. As such, I'm taking it in overnight on the firing range, in order to demonstrate just what the Lansen is capable of. This is the Robot 4. It is a Swedish anti-ship missile and was the first line of defense against Soviet ships traversing the Baltic. Well, that certainly made things easier. If that had been a Soviet ship, it would currently be inspecting the bottom of the ocean. We will now go to the airfield and try out the illumination flares and the fixed dump bombs that the airplane is carrying. The Lansen was developed in the beginning of the 1950s as a replacement for a variety of 1940s strike aircraft in the Swedish Air Force. It was also required to fill the reconnaissance and night fighter roles. This modification carries hardpoints for bombs, missiles, and all kinds of juicy goodness that you can choose to drop upon the enemy. As you can see, this aircraft is equipped with Robot 4, Illumination Flares, and Bombs. What you see here is pretty much the airplane version of a cowboy shooting from the hip. I'm not even using the aiming, I'm just dropping four bombs upon the target and hoping it will be alright. As you can see, they miss.
right here, I am taking the Lanson on the gunnery range. The A-32 version of the Lanson carried different cannons from the Night Fighter version, the Night Fighter carrying Aiden guns, and the attack version carrying 20mm Bowforce guns. However, in Strike Fighters this does little difference, and the guns are satisfying and very nice. As a closing remark, this aircraft uses the F-105 Thunder Chief cockpit, meaning that if you want to use it and not replace the cockpit, you will have to um, have either Europe or Vietnam. That is all from me. Thanks, and see you next time.